Okay, we are going to be doing the yogurt that I was telling you guys about, and um, we discovered this through Dr. William Davis. He's the one that actually has been talking about this and has videos and all sorts of things, but I figured I'd do this for you guys so you could do it step by step with me, and then you'd be done. So you're gonna need this um, probiotic. It's from Bio, from the brand is BioGaia, and you can get it online. And because you want this combination of um, probiotics, which is L Rotary Gastrous Blend, is what it is. Okay, so you can get it online. And you're gonna need inulin, not insulin, inulin, because there's two different things. Inulin is a prebiotic. And this is what the probiotic is gonna feed off of instead of sugar. Because really, actually the point is you're eliminating almost all sugar out of it with, with this. And we use half and half instead of milk um, when we're doing it. And he recommends, I think he said he likes the half and half best, right? Yeah. I've got my husband here kind of coaching me because he's better at this than I am. You're gonna need a wooden spoon to mix because you don't wanna, it, We've been told that you don't want to have the prebiotic touch metal because it compromises the prebiotic effect. But you can get the inulin and take it out of the jar to put in with your probiotic with a metal spoon. And then you're going to need either one jar or two jars. We use two jars because it's easier to take it out instead of using one big jar. And you just distribute evenly um, the amount. And then one of these, what's it called? Mortar and pestle. A mortar and pestle, so that you can smush here. I think you can see I've got the pills. So what I've done, we take 10 of these, of these probiotics, and they come in capsule form, not capsule, in, in tablets. And I don't know, can you see it? Yes. Okay, so you put 10 of these in here. So go ahead and grab your 10, your 10 um, tablets and then you're going to start smushing them. Make sure this is clean. Also, we, what we did was we put the jars in the microwave so that um, they would sterilize. So the first time you do this, you wanna make sure that your containers are sterile when you put that in. Um, so you're gonna keep smushing it till it's all like pulverized, right? You don't want it to be in little chunks, right? Yeah, you may want to put water in the jars first too before you put them in the microwave so that it okay. steams them and, and you get that sterilizing effect. Okay. It's not as good as boiling them, but it'll do it okay. Okay, so in case you didn't hear that, you want to put water in them. You want to wash them out and leave, you know, whatever water's left in them and then put them in the microwave. Don't put them bone dry in there. And then we put both these jars in there for about two minutes and that did the trick. You, you also, you could actually boil them if you want, but the microwave seems to be an effective way of doing it. So I'm gonna keep doing this so that I make sure that I have no clumps, because you don't want clumps, you wanna make it as powdery as possible, right? Correct. Okay, so keep doing this. We're doing this together. So let's just keep doing this, making sure that we get out all the clumps, all the little tiny pieces, try to make it as powdery as possible. Okay, I think this is good. Here, let me show Mark and check with him and see what he thinks. Is this good? Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, so let me show you. This is how mine has turned out. Can you see that? Yes. Okay, so it's powdery. It's not perfect, but it's mostly powder, okay? And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two teaspoons of this inulin. Remember, it's inulin not insulin, okay? I-N-U-L-I-N. And let me get the powder off of this. And where can you buy inulin? Inulin, I, I, we actually, I think we got it at Mother's. Oh, yeah, but you Amazon. can get it online on Amazon. Um, now is a really good brand. So, you know, go with that. I would anyway. So I'm gonna use the end of my spoon to get whatever's left on the, what is this one called? Mortar and pestle. Is this the pestle? I believe it is. Uh, I believe <laughs> it is. Sure. Well, whatever this thing is, <laughs> I am taking as much of the stuff out of the probiotic off as possible. I'm just going to put it right here. And then I'll just leave this leaning here like this. Then I'm going to take, I can put metal in the prebiotic. I just don't want to put it in with a probiotic. So I'm going to take two teaspoons. 
And it doesn't have to be exact, as you can tell. I'm just kind of eyeing it, right? And I mix it with um, the probiotics. So I'm going to use the end of the wooden spoon to do that. Just kind of combine it so that it's not all sitting clumping in one place. And then we're going to take some of the half and half, right? Correct. Okay. So we take some of the half and half, not a lot, just a little. Maybe a half a cup, maybe. Okay, let me show Mark, see if I got it right. It's not critical, just so you make a slurry. Like that? Yes, and the reason you're making the slurry is to mix it so you don't have inulin and, and everything clumping up. It needs to be evenly dispersed throughout the mixture when you make your yogurt. Okay, so did you hear that? How about half a cup, and the reason you're putting in the um, and making the slurry is so that it all mixes together and it doesn't clump. So here, I want to show you what we have here. Can you see it? Uh, there you can see it a little better. Like that? Yeah, close okay. enough. All right, so this is about half a cup. And you just mix and mix. mix. Don't let it clump, meaning you don't want to have the clumps because then you're gonna wind up with uneven amounts of stuff, right? You wanna have the inulin and the probiotic um, mixing and declumping. You don't want to have, like mine's really clumped right now. And so I need to make sure that it all dissolves. And it's not wanting to dissolve, it's really clumping. So we just keep mixing it, keep mixing and mixing and, and kind of doing what you did with the mortar and pestle, but with the end of the spoon. Why I use the end of the spoon? I don't know, I guess there's just less surface taking up as opposed to the big surface of the spoon. Um, but you could do it either way. You know, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure that you're not using a metal spoon. And why isn't this declumping? It's all clumped together. Well, when I first tried to do it, we put it in a blender thinking it would be so much more effective, but that really did not turn out. So do not use a blender. You wanted to use this by hand because the blender has the metal blades, right? So it's actually not good for the probiotics. You wanna do this as, as um, least mechanically as possible and just use your own um, tools in the kitchen and not electric tools, but just do everything manually. Um, and then the other thing is, once we've done this, you're not gonna you have to use the pills anymore. What you do is you save like two tablespoons of, um, of yogurt, and then you will mix that with your inulin, and then um, make it that way. You don't, even, you, need, you don't need to buy those pills anymore. You never need to buy the probiotics anymore. You just use the inulin because you need to feed the probiotic, or I mean the uh, yogurt. Okay, mine's kind of dissolving, but there's a lot of clumps, Mark. Smush it, smush it, there you go. So keep going, if yours is clumpy too, just stay with me here. Let's get all those clumps out. Um, maybe it's because of the, uh, the milk was cold. And I'm not using milk, I'm using half and half. And I'm using organic half and half, okay? I try to do everything organic because, because that's just, how I feel about it. So um, I think it's better for us if we try to use anything that's pesticide free and organic. So bear with me. I'm assuming that you're probably having some clumps too. And I'm thinking it's because the milk is cold. Yeah, probably. So maybe think about just bringing it out of the fridge for a few minutes before you start. And maybe that'll help with that. And you can feel the graininess when you're mixing. So if it feels grainy when you're mixing, that just means that it's not all mixed because it should dissolve. You shouldn't feel graininess when you're bringing that spoon around. Um, yeah, it's starting to get better. There's still some there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Really? Yeah. Okay, Mark says it doesn't have to be perfect. But look at who we're talking about, right? So... Um, I tend to have that perfectionist attitude. So let's do it just a little longer. Make sure it's all, let's see. 
And again, remember the name of the man that we got this from. His name is Dr. William Davis, right? Correct. Um, he's got a lot of stuff, really interesting stuff. And you look up this, the studies on this um, particular probiotic because they're really interesting. It promotes oxytocin and, and that in turn sets a whole lot of things going on in the body, that feel good feeling. Supposed to get rid of wrinkles, so let's see how this works. And then you're supposed to take half a cup a day or half a cup every other day. That seems to be the magic number for, for it to um, have good results. It's supposed to help with sleep. Um, in me, what I'm finding as my nose is running is that it's getting rid of my allergies, and which is pretty amazing because, because it just, that's amazing for me. It's supposed to help with sleep. What else? Digestion, of course. Um, collagen, promote collagen. It's supposed to help in healing. Scars and cuts seems, seem to heal in half the time that they normally do. Some people are saying that their hair feels better. Um, so just a lot of different, what was the one comment that people are liking their families more? <laughs> because this is the, yeah, probably because of the oxytocin, right? Because it's making people feel better about themselves and their surroundings. Okay. So I think, I think we're good. And there may be a little bit here and there, but I don't think so. I think I'm about done here. What do you think? I think you're good. Okay. All right. So then... I'm gonna pour half in each of these jars. If you're only using one jar, then no sweat, it doesn't really matter. But if you're using two jars, try to make it an even spread. So I'm going to pour half in here and the other half in here. And yeah, it did, it declumped. I think I'm pretty good. All right, and then I'm going to take the half and half. Yeah, that's pretty close. Close enough, I think, right? And then I'm going to take the half and half and pour half in one and half in the other. Oops. Let me get a paper towel and clean my jar off. And that's it, guys. We are done as far as the mixing and all of that. Uh, we want we want to mix it again. Oh, that's now. right. That's Make right. sure that it's all so that that slurry that you did evenly. Okay. Yeah, right. that's a, actually a really important part. See, that's why I needed more here because I forget these things. I'm not really good at those details. So that's it. You mix and mix and mix because you wanted to make sure you want to make sure that all of the half and half has every little bit of, it, of probiotic and well the slurry and prebiotic. Because if you don't, what can happen is it just won't turn out right. It just won't come out as yogurt for you. Okay, so here's the deal. When you first do it like this, when you're not using starter, it may come out kind of like cottage cheesy. And what you'll have is it'll be more solid at the top and you'll have liquid near the bottom, right? That's how it came out for us. The yeah, the liquid, the liquid is whey. So the more batches you make, the better it gets. Right. And then the more you make it, oh my God, it starts, it's just delicious actually. It's really, really good. So um, it just starts getting better and better and better with each batch. But just know that the first batch is kind of janky. It's, you know, kind of cottage cheesy. There's a lot of way that liquid, um, but don't stress out. It's okay, it's the first batch. And even, I mean, we ate the first batch. Yeah. It was still good, there just wasn't as much of it. Now, when you're gonna make the second batch from that, you can use the whey and the yogurt, correct? Yeah, both, either mm -hmm. or, or both. Okay, so you can use both. So I would take two teaspoons of, or two tablespoons of the yogurt and some of the whey and mix it in with, make a slurry with your inulin and then mix and then split it up into your bottles or make one bottle and then add the half and half, right? Correct. If you're gonna do it with already your starter. 
um, which is what you're going to need to do because you won't need the pills anymore. So it'll be much cheaper. You won't have to worry about investing in the pills. If for some reason, okay, so now the other thing is the lids. We, we had metal lids, but we bought some plastic ones to put on here so that we don't have to worry about the metal touching. Um, but if you have metal lids, just when you put it away or when you put it to rest for the next 24 hours, make sure it doesn't touch the lid, right? Am I, am I yeah, getting it? Yeah, okay. we assume so. We can't independently verify it, but that's, that's what, that, will, that came in our instructions. Right. That's what we're gathering from kind of doing our research, right? Um, because everybody has an opinion. That's what you're going to find, too. But it sounded right, so that's what we're following, because we're trying not to disturb the probiotic effect in any way. Okay, I think I'm good. You think I'm good? Yeah, I think you're good. Yeah, we're trying to just do what works for us. Right, and this is what has worked for us. So, um, okay. So I'm going to put the lid on, but I'm not going to do it totally tight, just enough to where it's closed, okay? Don't just, like, try to seal it so that it's... Um, but just enough to where it is closed, but not really tight. And then we have a pad that we bought because we used to make kombucha. And so we just happen to have it and it's like a heating pad. What's it, what was it? Oh, Propagate, what's the name of it? Um, they, have a num they have a number of them, but. Uh, Ours is called Propagate Pro or something like that? Yeah, it's a, it's a brewing and fermentation heating pad. Okay, and it's about this big. It's in my cabinet, so that's why I'm not showing it to you because it's plugged in, in the back of the cabinet. It's a real pain to take it out, but it's about this big and it's called Propagate Pro and it's just a little heating pad. So you can get one of those or you can put it in a place that's warm. Okay, you don't want to put it in the sun but you can put it in a place in the cabinet. Don't move it, just put it somewhere for 24 hours. And according to what we read and what we heard, um, the 24 hours is what makes it so that it's more effective than the yogurt that you buy in the store because the yogurt you buy in the store is only eight hours of fermentation. Yeah, but you don't want to, you also don't want to let it go too long, right. otherwise it'll, it'll eat, you know, it'll eliminate the benefits of the probiotics. It's sort of tends to burn itself out. It eats all the, all the uh, starch and it's not active anymore. Okay, so did you hear that? You don't want to let it go too long. So the magic number is 24 hours, 24 and a half, you know, I mean, but basically 24 hours because what you'll do is overdo it and then get rid of all the benefits of it, right? So, um, so 24 hours and that's it. And then you take it out of where you put it and put it in the fridge and it's good for a week. Two weeks, I say. Oh, two weeks. It's good for two weeks, but it probably won't last you two weeks. Um, you'll probably need to make another batch and like, well, depending on how many people are eating. But remember, it's half a cup a day per person. And then as you're nearing the end, just start over with a, with a couple tablespoons of what you already have. Add the two teaspoons of inulin. Mix it. Make the slurry. Put it in your jar and then add the half and half. And you're good to go then you start all over anyway that's it i hope this helps you guys and maybe we can take a snap again in 24 hours when it's done so you can see okay. what it looks like okay yeah so what i'll do is we'll take a picture of what it looks like now remember it may not look like our normal yogurt because it's going to be the first batch but at least you'll get an idea if yours turns out like ours that it's not wrong right um okay so we'll see you in 24 hours bye